Welcome back. It is Easter weekend 2015, and I am uh, having a long weekend. We have Friday off uh, as well as the regular weekend, so I've got three days to work, and that means I am going to uh, get as much possible done as to finish this uh, lovely Icarus kit. Now, uh, I have so far at this point been painting the outside with... Uh, big rattle cans and spray cans, but now I'm to the point where I need to start airbrushing on here, which means I need to clean my airbrush. I am horrible at remembering to clean my airbrush when I'm done. And getting this back to life is uh, job one, but since this is a weekend that is founded on belief of the resurrection, I believe that I can resurrect this airbrush. And then I will... Um, start painting in some of the details on this so that I can put the white finish on it. And if all goes well, get the white finish on it, get a gloss coat, get the decals on, get a finished gloss coat, and get ready to mail it back to uh, the gentleman who it belongs to. So let's get started with that. Then the time has come to put some color on this Icarus. Uh, I have already masked off the back and sprayed some gray there. And now I am going to put a coat, or the first of many coats, of the cockpit green in the uh, window sills and recesses there and to do that I'm going to go to my trusty vinyl and cut some small strips and uh, delineate this area with that. Now I'm going to be painting over my my, my uh, windshields. I'm fully aware of that and I'll go back in and touch those up later but I want to get some green in these areas. And here is the Icarus with the green uh, cockpit green on the uh, cockpit oddly enough the uh, windowsill so I'll let that dry and then uh, take the masks off and then uh, we'll do the reverse of this I will mask these areas off and paint the white over top of it a scant few seconds later and we have all the tape removed and you can see that we've got color amassed on here finally it's looking like something got to do some gold up here but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, probably paint this gold and let it dry tonight and then start putting the white on here tomorrow what this is going to allow me to do honestly or I might even do this without the gold uh, what it's going to let me do is give me a place to handle this as you can see I'm starting to smudge the white finish and um, that's not good really what I need is a way to, to handle this thing while I'm painting so I can put tape over this color that's been painted on here and tape over this but uh, it gives me a a handle for lack of a better term and a safe place to put my grubby mitts without getting the white all uh, scuffed up okay here's a little bit of a pickle I have got the area of gray masked off and kept clean I need to mask off where the white is going to stop and the gold is going to start here and to do that, I also need to account for these decals. The problem is I want the decal to be completely in the white area. Sorry about that. In the white area, I do not want the decal to come up into where the gold area is going to be because that color will not, you need to see that white stripe in the middle. I have a little bit of fudge factor where the blue stripe is going to land, but that white needs to be over white because these decals do not have any white backing on them so it needs to go over white paint so if the gold is going to start or the decal is going to start here where the green runs out then we have let me turn this around a little bit um, let's zoom in don't mind that I'm going to fix that paint lift the white paint is going to start right about right about here is where the decal is going to go so the decal is going to end there so that's about where the it's going to be gold from there up so that's about where I need to mask greetings it's Saturday morning of day two of the long weekend and I have put a coat of the final color which is a, a dupla color arctic white and I've let that dry light coat and now I'm in the midst of wet sanding it and after I wet sand it I will put uh, another coat on it and I think that will be the final finish and then I can go back in 
and touch these other areas, the gold, and retouch the green and fix the windows. And then the last thing to do will be the uh, decals. We might get this buttoned up this weekend. Okay, what I've been doing uh, is, as we get into Saturday afternoon, is I have been uh, progressively layering on coats of white on top of this. And these are very light coats of the uh, polar white duplicolor. And I'll go out and spray, take it outside, lightly spray, give it an hour, flip it over, lightly spray the bottom. And I've done this two or three times. And what I've done in between coats is I'm wet sanding, which gives me this nice gloss finish and also kind of fills in some of the unevenness uh, it's never going to completely be a hundred percent smooth because of the nature of the resin kit it's uh, got some warps in it you can see the shit the highlight there is not uniform like it would be were this completely conical so uh, it's one of these uh, take it as we as we can get now the next step will be to let this dry real well and then I'm going to take these areas off and touch them up and more importantly touch up the windows and add the gold and I'll have to touch that gray up but uh, that's where we are in this stage. And it's time to just do something colorful. I have uh, taped off the area of the nose which will be gold and I'm getting ready to pull out the brush and spray several light coats of gold on here. Now gold is one of those very particular metallics like uh, chrome silver that uh, shows every little bump and flaw and can get real runny awfully quickly. So uh, like I said, I'm going to do light coats, come back and do light coats over top of that so I don't build up anything that's going to do anything runny. And then we'll be, we'll be touching that up. Pay no attention to the minty green starship parts back here. And voila, the nose is golded. Golden nose, the lesser known Bond villain. Good morning, it is Sunday morning, uh, Easter Sunday morning. And I am, uh, before I get ready to go off to church, I am putting a little bit of putty on some nicks on the gold nose. I'll come back and sand those and redo that. Um, as usual, I'm overly optimistic about how much I'm going to accomplish on a given weekend. Um, I forget, for, I forgot. I failed to uh, take into account how much time it's going to take to fabricate those uh, window uh, frames. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to get this finished today. I wouldn't want to rush it. I know uh, Nestor would not want me to rush it. So uh, I'm going to take some good sweet time on those window frames to get those just right. But the golds turned out wonderfully. The green looks good. Uh, what you're not seeing back here is gray that's underneath some masking. Um, but I'm going to open up those windows and prepare those window frames right now. Okay, those are opened back up. And if you remember, uh, I put some hot glue on some uh, plastic card to close those up. And the hot glue did its trick. It let loose when I wanted it to. And... If you could see in there, you would see the interior still nice and protected. Uh, so now we need to fabricate some frames and put the glass in, or the, the, put the uh, clear plastic in, and then touch up the green and white paint around the outsides. Around the outsides, around the outsides. Very nice. Well, here is a scene that hasn't been seen uh, in quite a while. Yes, I've cleaned off my table. I got rid of that ratty towel that I've been painting on for a while. And I'm ready to put in a ratty new towel. But uh, it's the, so it's the uh, at onset of spring um, and thoughts come to resurrection and getting clean. And boy, this table really needed to be cleaned off. Plus the fact I'm doing some fussy work this afternoon. I've only got about an hour or so that I can left that I can work today before I need to cut the video together and uh, since this is all nice and white and clean and I don't want to muck about getting anything on it and I'm going to be trying to fit the windows and window frames in the front I felt it was best to get all the dirty distractions out of the way and make with the uh, the clean table with a clean slate it's a good way to start so let's get to it enough stalling I think that's a lot of what I was doing is stalling so as to uh, avoid getting down to the uh, nitty and or the gritty of it, but I've got the, the basic tools out that I need to have 
And uh, what I'm going to do succinctly and see if, we'll, if this will work. I'm going to cut windows to glue into those places and then I'm going to make frames to go over them with this uh, Rick, uh, this uh, sheet stock. We'll see how that's that's the idea. Let's see how the uh, actual reality matches up to it. And we reach a stopping point for this weekend. Um, good place to stop. I've got both uh, clear pieces, the PETG in the window holes. See, that's no longer, they look clear, but they're no longer clear. And all that's left to do is to trim them out and paint them. And it's a good spot to leave it. I can uh, let the, the uh, CA um, cure and set up and uh, take this up a little bit later. Well, that's pretty much it for this weekend, a three-day weekend. Got a lot done, especially on the Icarus. It got a little bit done... Lot, lot done on my secret project, <laughs> which I'll probably just drag out and show you next week. It's for Wonderfest, but um, it's mostly done, and it's looking pretty neat, and I'm kind of busting to tell people about it. So that I'll drag out for next week. So until then, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching and thank all the new members. I am up over 675, 680, something like that, members. It's quite interesting. Uh, and I, I thank you for your time and your attention. So until next week, go out and build a model. I'm still working on taglines. So if you've got any suggestions, you can just email them to me or, or uh, PM me on the videos. I'm still working on a sign-off. So until then, it'll be then. Later.